Roberto Tatis writes, the best is Peter Manning's workout jogger. I'm your same height and they fit incredible. So today we are gonna unbox the Peter Manning workout jogger. We're gonna put it up against the godfather of all joggers, the Lulu ABC jogger. Do a little first impression and see what this fuss is all about. All right, so here's the box. It looks like a pretty eco-friendly box with recycled cardboard and the Peter Manning sticker here. Now I would recommend opening this with a sharp edge rather than a golf tee because you might injure yourself in the process but uh that's what i'm working with today it's not the prettiest but uh it'll have to do oh wow okay so i love it when the brands take care of their packaging and kind of control the consumer's first experience because it's just tells you a little bit about the brand. It tells you that they want to put their best foot forward. It speaks to how much they care about their products and how much they care about the customers receiving the product in the best way possible. Awesome first impression. I love it. It's clean. It's just, yeah, it just makes me feel good. I'm gonna perhaps do this uh, in a non-conventional way. Just take it out like a, like a fresh fish from the market. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not gonna get cute with that. I'm just gonna do this because I don't wanna mess up this awesome labeling. Today we're working with the Workout Jogger. It's the same piece in three different colors. I got the navy, the charcoal, and then the black as well. I don't know why, but I'm not really vibing with the navy blues. Um, I don't know, it just hasn't really spoken to me nowadays. And for some reason, the charcoal has really spoken to me recently. But for this one, I'm gonna go with the black just cause I'm into that black clean look. I'm gonna try to just be very careful because at this point, I don't know if I'm actually keeping a pant or not. Just so you know, keeping in mind the Ash and Airy workout jogger, that piece was really nice. It fit me like a glove. The thing with that one is it was a little pricey just like this one and I didn't really need that jogger at the time. And also it was a little bit too thin. I'm in the Pacific Northwest and so for most of the months of the year, I'm gonna need something a little bit thicker. And so that's why I decided not to keep that one. And this first impression of this one is, is kind of like that. Um, yeah, it's a little more sturdy than the Ash and Airy one. Um, a little thicker, I would say. That one was really like light and airy. This one is also on the light side, but it's a little thicker than the Ash and Airy one. Okay, I don't remember the zipper here, but one of the things that drew me to the Peter Manning workout jogger was the inseam length, because I'm 5'7". The zipper with the short pants, I don't know, I just love that look because it speaks to intentionality. That's why I also love the Primo joggers. And so yeah, I love this zipper right here. The reflectors, I mean, it's nice for jogging uh, at night and such. It's reminding me of the Lulu Surge Hybrid Jogger. Very cool. Yeah, it's a piece that looks very nice. It's, uh, it's a good weight. It's got stretch. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try these on. In terms of the pockets themselves, very standard workout pockets here with the stretchy nylon here. And then you got the hidden pocket here with the zipper just for any valuables credit cards, license, keys, wallet, etc. Very cool. Um, this is very uh, Lulu ABC-esque here with the faux fly, the drawstrings coming out the front, looking for the design. Oh yeah, they do have the same Lulu ABC design where you can put the drawstrings on the inside to hide that as well, just go for a cleaner look. And there it is, 25 length inseam, super stoked about that. That is my perfect inseam. Um, of course, it depends on kind of like the crotch, how low it hangs, but yeah, around 25, 26 is, is perfect for me. Love the zipper in the back, always looking for that cover to protect the expensive seats and such. And yeah, love the zipper because you can kind of lock your valuables in there. When you got your kids in tow and stuff, you don't wanna be losing their stuff, losing their M&Ms and whatever is valuable to them at the time. So um, very important to keep that safe in the pocket. Feels really good already. It does feel like that nylon-y kind of material. Um, it's got some good stretch to it as well. But uh, yeah, it works. It looks really good. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel confident. It is a little bit tight um, in the thighs for me from you know doing all those squats and stuff like that in my spare time. But yeah, it feels really good. It feels really solid. No weird pulling in any weird areas. Yeah, and it does fit really well. It fits pretty much like a glove out of the box, which 
I can't complain. So thank you, Roberto, and thank you, Chris, for pointing these out to me. Again, I love the zippers. It speaks to the intentionality. It's like, you know what? I'm 5'7", I got short legs, but it's okay. This pant was made just for me. It's just the right length. And if you've been watching for a while, I love the ankle cuffs that are really in line with the ankle, not loose, not hanging out. It's just a really clean look for me, and I just really love it. Also, if you've been watching a while, I always like to talk about the big four. Can you wear the pants working from home? Home, which is what I do 99% of the time. Can you wear it around town running errands, dropping stuff at UPS? Will you be embarrassed if a neighbor sees you? Can you wear something like this to the office? Does it hold up its own in the boardroom? And last but not least, can you do a quick workout in them? Can you go for a jog in them? And I would say these pants handles three out of the four situations. You can do all of it except probably wear this to work unless you work in software engineering or you're not customer facing or your company is just more laid back. I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing these in front of my boss or in front of other executives. But the other three scenarios, you know, working from home, I would feel confident delivering a presentation in these. I would feel like it's not sloppy or it wouldn't make me feel, you know, kind of like I just rolled out of bed. But yeah, let's, let's do some, uh, some squatting here. Yeah. I mean, the pants fit, they move with me. It basically feels like I'm not wearing any pants. So positive for that. And uh, yeah, it's, it just feels, fits really well. Usually my calves um, need more room, but this fits really well. It must be that stretch. Material's great. And honestly, I don't need another pair of joggers, but uh, it's gonna be uh, quite a challenge to make a case for this one. This is the Surge Hybrid that I was talking about earlier. It's uh, very similar in fit and feel. Surge Hybrid is a little bit more of like a, a tight, like a running tight, um, given the elastic band here. But other than that, you know, there is no zipper, but yeah, other than that, everything is uh, pretty similar about it. The Surge is a little bit more nylon-y and a little bit more tighter to the legs. This one is just a little bit more flowy. Again, great for lounging around, working from home, being comfortable. I wouldn't have any problems running into neighbors in these pants. And you know what? They might even hold up on a casual Friday with no meetings. So yeah, this has been the unboxing and first impression of the Peter Manning workout jogger. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop them in the comments section down below. I love interacting with you guys in that way. And just remember, threads don't make the dad, you make the dad, make it a great day. Catch you on the next one.